You know, inflation, it must be said, is as frightening as an armed robber and as deadly as a hitman. Hear this. Nigeria's annual inflation rate rose to 29.9% in January from 28.92% in December 2023. The National Bureau of Statistics gave this sickening figure, uh, and food inflation rate in January quickened to 35.41% on a year-to-year -year basis. We are far from home, wouldn't you say, Jamil? We are really, really, really far. The rate at which, um, especially, you can see the, there's, there's the general inflation index. There is the month on month. I mean, when you compare December and January, that mm. one is just like 2.5%. But if you compare January of 2024 to January of 2023, then you see a marked difference. Yeah. Yeah. Even at that, that's for general inflation. For food inflation, in fact, my advice to husbands now, including myself, don't follow your wife to the market. Don't say, uh, if he says, if he tells you, if your wife tells you, bring 50,000, let me go and shop, quickly give it to her. If you, if you can. If you can. Because if you want to say, uh, let me go and do it, you will end up spending more. Yeah. Because... It, is, it has really gotten to that stage. Mm. And time, before I used to follow my wife to the market, we'll go together, but these days I find a, a way to dodge because um, you just keep spending, spending, spending. It is really, really serious. Mm. And I think um, we, 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 we made a clarion call uh, to uh, the president here last week, if you could recall that, the, the president should call the governors to a meeting and tell them to do, give them a marching order to do something that people are suffering. And that, I think that happened uh, yesterday. So mm. we need to find a way to cushion this effect. The pain is too much. People are really, really hungry. Yeah. People are really, really hungry. And I, I want to also uh, commend the Lagos State Government. Uh, the uh, 750,000, uh, 750 million grants given to market women. I mm. think it will ease uh, the, 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 the way they do business in the market was basically it was for 15,000 market women in Lagos at I think 50,000 naira each. I think they did that yesterday. They call it traders' money. That will go a long way to because some of them, why, why, why most of these uh, 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 prices, food prices are up is that most of these women, you know what they do? They go to all these um, uh, microfinance banks mm. to borrow as little as 20,000, 30,000 naira, which they are going to pay back at very exorbitant interest rates. They call it, quote unquote, you mean your, 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 your mind is not almost at rest. I mean, you are, you are always palpitating. The first thing you want to do is to find a way of paying that, that yeah. loan. So uh, while even struggling to pay the loan, they make mistakes. Mm. And I, so it's a very good gesture from the legal state government. And I, I, if other states do, can also do uh, that as a palliative. Majid, a, 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 I must be quick to mention Ogun State. Yeah, o Ogun State. Ogun, yeah. Ogun also did a similar thing yeah, uh, yeah. yesterday. Mm. Um, states, states, I mean, states have a critical role to play. I think we have called them to order. We have challenged those governors, and I think more of them should assist the federal government. They have these resources. Yeah. Most states are getting more than fifty percent of what they used to get. Pre June 2023. Now, mm. most, I, I doubt if there's a state today that goes home with less than 5 billion naira a month. Mm. Because the, the savings we are making from the removal of square subsidy goes mostly to uh, the, the state uh, governments and the local governments. So they should be able to pump this into the system so that it can yeah. percolate down to the ordinary man on the street. And they should not do it on a party basis. We are all Nigerians. Yeah. It's not only uh, APC members that vote for governors in APC states. It's not only PDP members that vote for uh, uh, governors in PDP states. So they should allow these things to go around across all parties. We are yeah. all Nigerians. You, you know, they say statistics are no substitute for judgment. So, but the figures coming in from the NBS are sickening. They are. And um, the good thing about uh, the statistics from the NBS is that they don't do it alone. Mm. Um, they have credibility because they also work with uh, some foreign partners 
and all that. So at the end of the day, it's a wholesome work that they do for us, you know, which will help us in uh, taking big decisions. The truth is, the removal of subsidy is what has uh, pushed inflation, inflationary trend to the level that we are seeing now. And food inflation is at the heart of this Every, rise. Oh yes. Because oh yes. you need to bring, move food from one part of the country to another. Yeah. And we all know that cost of transport has really gone up significantly. Whether you are moving from, uh, from local government to local government, the cost of transportation has gone up. Mm. You understand? So I remember when we traveled home for my dad's uh, coronation, people had to pay 10,000, 11,000 to move from uh, Lagos to Kogi State. And you are wondering, uh, in the past, the cost of even flying from Lagos to Kaduna mm. was 1,000 Naira. I remember when I was a correspondent in Kano. It was just 1,000 Naira to move from Lagos by air to Abuja. Now 10,000 to move by road to, to in one Rikati bus to Kogi. To, to Kogi State. So transport costs went up significantly after the removal of subsidy. As expected? Of course, because the price... Uh, 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 the price of petrol went up threefold. Mm. You know now, mm. you buy petrol. Mm. It went up threefold, and you don't expect the uh, bus driver, the transporter, to, yeah, to, not to hike, not to hike because he's mm. not doing it uh, uh, pro rata. Uh, so <laughs> that is the reason food prices are very high in our country, and then of of course in, uh, insecurity. We must defeat insecurity to stem the tide of food inflation because many of these farmers can't even access their farms. In some cases, they are made to pay levies. Boko Haram in places uh, uh, that they, con they control force our people to pay levies. Bandits in areas where they are quite strong force farmers to pay levies. And if you don't pay, you, you, you are playing with your life. So all of these add up to yeah, uh, cool. high cost of uh, food. And then, because they talked about cereals, uh, 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 butter and the rest. Yeah. To, yesterday, I bought butter, a small jar, for 1,400 naira. Mm. Anything that is imported or anything that the raw material that they use are um, imported, yeah. of course, you should expect that yeah, can, well, that's yeah. why bread. Sorry, bread we, 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 we have a Kelechi waiting to join us. He is in Lagos. Kelechi, I greet you. Welcome. No, yeah. How do you do, Kelechi? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I do. That's why bread. Okay. Better luck next time. Yeah, so, so what to do now? No, so that's what I'm saying. You see, bread, for example, in the last three years, Premium bread has moved from 250 naira. Premium uh, bread from, 100, from 250 naira to about 1,300. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. 1,300, depending hmm. on which uh, brand you are buying, 1,300. So uh, look, at, look at that jump. From 250, 250 to, um, to, to 1,300, 1, 1, it's a jump. Four, four, five, yeah. Seven, yeah. Four, four fold. Yes. You are forced to ask what's new. They've been complaining that, look, the things that they use, the raw material, sugar uh, price has been going up, uh, baking flour, baking powder, uh, baking powder, you know, butter, and and butter that, especially. That, not oil. Yeah. Butter. So you, you can see, it's so, it, it, there's no, a lot of them are out of business already. Yeah. We have to save Nigerians 
from suicides, from job losses by reflecting this economy. The ministers in charge of the economy, they, now they have to sit up. And commissioners for agriculture across the state. Yes, because states are not even, they are not doing anything by way of cultivation on a big scale. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. We, have to, we are talking about, oh, food is the problem. But mm. states, the states own the land. Yeah. So why are they not doing enough? Mm. All because some of because the governors they can. Do, because they can. Yes, they, of course, we know they can. All the governors do is simply go to Abuja and sit down there and just relax. Start something. And I'm happy that during that meeting with the president, they talked about the need to do certain things. I want to see improvement. Let's see what they are doing by way of food production. Because we have to, we have to save our people. Mm. We can't just sit uh, here and be complained that, oh, food is costly. What are the states doing? Yeah. You all have a uh, commissioner for agri and all that. What do they do to support uh, food production? All right. Jeremy, before we go on a break. Yeah, um, basically, I, I, I think um, the, the, the states really would need to call them uh, to action once more. You travel between Lagos and Ibadan, and you see a vast land, arable land. Arable, yeah. We need to put those lands to use. The states, it's only the states that has the capacity to do this. Uh, because when you, when you travel abroad, you travel for like, 20, 30 kilometers, all you see are farmlands growing different types of uh, food crops. Food. And uh, yeah, yeah, we can make that happen in Nigeria. And most of this uh, arable land, they are lands that you don't even need fertilizer for things to grow there. Okay. 